sweet. What do you need for a tow vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> Came up here from Camarillo. Used only a quarter tank, so about 10 oh, gallons. Right. So probably 13, 14 miles a gallon of clean coming over the grapevine. <laughs> yeah. It looks pretty comfy in there. It's not too bad. That's bonehead. Bonehead? Yep. Oh, it's Ooh. compound. Oh, another one. It's huge. So you're reaching the bus or the car or both? Neither, actually. I'll, Neither? I'd rather make a pass on the bus than the Camaro. I didn't get a chance to do shit in the Camaro. That hasn't been ran in quite a while. You should do a pass on the bus. <laughs> That'd be pass sweet. on the bus with everybody hanging out the windows. There you go. The best part of the bus, if you read the side of it, actually says Elgin Special School District, so it really was the short bus back in the day. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, we gotta go clean up the Camaro. It looks like shit, yeah. <laughs> what? What gets more attention, the bus or the Camaro? <laughs> the funny part is actually, and a few people have commented on it, is I'll pull the bus up or have someone drive the Camaro to a show or whatever. Yeah. And people will pass the walk past the Camaro to check out the bus. It's just it, it baffles people's minds. You see Camaros everywhere, it's, but it's a, you don't. It's a '69 Camaro. Yeah, it's a nice car, but it's just a '69 Camaro. A this thing appears. Turbo, though. <laughs> this thing appeals to just such a broad spectrum of people. They first the, the motorheads. Oh shit! Look at the turbo oh, and whatnot, yeah. and then. Just the old school bus and people, you know, the original patina and whatnot. People just yeah. really dig. It's gonna be fun to drive. It's entertaining. I mean, we, me and my dad did Hot Rod Power Tour with it last year. Really? We did 5,800 miles in two weeks. Oh my I god! I joke around. It was probably the most photographed thing on Power Tour. Every other car that I, went by I had a phone it. out and whatnot. And yeah. I mean, just really went over well. And it's on bags? It's on bags. It's all been, everything underneath it's been done. It's got a compound turbo Cummins in it with a five speed and a gear vendor. Nice. It's got Ride Tech bags front and rear. It's got a custom built four foot four link in the back of it. Um, it literally, it rides like a Cadillac. I mean, it came up the grapevine the day. The slowest I came up was 60 at the very peak, and I was doing probably 65, 70 the rest of the way up. <laughs> I love it. And it's still, they used a quarter tank to get here, so it probably got. Eh, 14, 13, 14 miles to the gallon, yeah. which isn't bad for 11,000 pounds. It's just the all. bus and the aerodynamics of a barn door. Any, any idea how much that would make, power-wise? I'm guessing it's five, 600 horsepower, probably 1,000, 1,200 foot-pounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be entertaining to find somewhere you could strap this thing down on a dyna. The hard part's the weight of the thing. I mean, it's 11,000 pounds the way it sits roughly, Holy just the bus, crap. not counting the trailer, so. The Camaro's beautiful. Well, thank you. That's, that's really nice. It's actually been together about 10 years now, so really? I haven't had a chance to do much to it lately, so that's why I'm not gonna run it today. Big block, Chevy. Small block, 400 this? small block. Okay. With a Vortec on it. It looks it, big in there for some reason. It went 960 to 143 with a uh, tire, ch with just a tire change on pump gas. Okay. The best part is I still, still, still drive it to lunch and whatnot. So, <laughs> are those like 20? They're 20 by 16s on the back of it. Between this and that rolling down the freeway, it definitely gets people's attention. Yeah. Well, thanks for bringing them out here. That's no sweet. problem. Man. Check it out. Came out, check it out. Some friends of mine are up here, so we'll see what happens.